Hi everyone, this is Daniel from SciTech. Today we're having a look at the new Humax HDR7500T high definition twin tuner PVR. Um, we're going to give a, a brief rundown on um, the interface, so the way the menu works, the recording functions, playback, rewind, um, and how to access media that you've already recorded. First up, let's have a look at the menu. It's a straightforward, easy to use, easy to navigate menu. You can set your channel lists and your TV guides. You can have a look at the video, music and photos that are saved on the hard drive. You can have a look at the Humax TV portal, which we'll show you a bit later on. And you can have a look at the settings. In the settings, you can adjust preferences for parental control, for language, time, video and audio. There are some cool features in here. Video, you can obviously set your screen ratio and your display format. Audio, you can put in a, a lip sync. And you can adjust the lip sync on this. So if the, if the broadcasters happen to have an issue with uh, lip sync, you can actually put in a, a, a second delay or, or make it come in a bit earlier to, to compensate for that. So uh, that's a nice feature. And also with your recording, you can add padding time. So you can, when you set your recording times, you can actually get it to record 3, 5, 10 or 20 minutes earlier than what's listed in the EPG, which is probably not all that applicable for start time, but certainly for end time when TV programs run beyond their allotted time, you can actually add a end uh, padding time of, you know, up to 20 minutes. So you know you might want to set it for five minutes and we'll add five minutes beyond the end of your recording to ensure that if if the show runs a bit over time it's not going to get cut off next I'd like to show you the EPG so there's simply a guide button on the remote control and it brings up quite a nice and easy to use EPG so you can scroll up and down through the various channels and it shows you the uh, programs if you want to record a program you simply go forward press the OK button it'll ask you if you want to record the whole program or just set a reminder so I'll tell it I'll record a whole program if it's a, a show that comes on regularly or it has detected in the EPG uh, at more than, on more than one occasion I'll actually ask you if you want to record the whole series I'll see if I can find a show that will replicate that I thought surely Cheers would. I'll just show you one other feature as well. If you've set, as you can see there, I've set two uh, recordings at the same time. So I've got the one on channel 10 and the one on channel 1. If I set a second recording that conflicts with the same time, it actually pops up. Ah, there's, well, there's an example of making a making a recording on something that's appearing more than once in the EPG so you can actually select to record the whole series in which case it will go and record a future program with that same name or just record that whole program for that just one off so you can actually tell it to record the whole series and it will go through and find the uh, recordings in the future and here's the recording conflict turn up so it's saying that we've basically set three recordings for one period which you can't do it's only a twin tuner so it can only record uh, two channels while watching a third you can't record three channels um, so you simply select the two that you're after so if you say you don't want that one and you want that one whoops anyway I've just deleted two there anyway so next I'd like to show you the rewind and playback feature so um, this is quite common on a lot of PVRs, it works quite well on this one as well if you should happen to be just leave the TV or you'd like to come back and find something you can miss you can simply rewind the live programming, this one goes up to 32 uh, times 32 in rewind and so now we're actually on a delay so we're watching TV behind behind live, if you press the stop button the box will tell you but we're back to live broadcast and once you've recorded programs it's pretty easy to bring up programs you've you've already recorded there is a media button on the box so you simply press that 
and it brings up your list of programs. Simply scroll down, select the one you want, press OK, play it from the start. And finally I'd like to show you the TV portal. There's a TV portal on the remote control. Make sure that your uh, Humax is connected to the, the internet, either via Ethernet or you can buy a wireless dongle for it as well. And this is the TV portal, so it brings up a few, you can browse YouTube, you can look at your photos on Picasa, and you, what I think is probably the best feature is this ABC iView, the catch-up service. So if you press on ABC iView, it actually now is connect, connecting online. And it brings up this nice um, iView page, so you can select, you can search through many videos and replay a video that you may have missed on the ABC. So these aren't actually recorded on the hard drive, these are streaming straight off straight off the internet and surprisingly the quality is is pretty good. And there it is, so that's actually streaming now live from the internet so and it's uh, quite quite watchable the ABC is the only one available at the moment but we are expecting other broadcasters to put their catch-up services online as well